Hey guys and gals, today I wanted to hit on something that I've noticed a lot of people saying they're having issues with lag and FPS drops while playing Star Wars. So I figured I'd go ahead and make a video and show you guys a few little tips that will help you out with increasing your frame rates and just uh, eliminating lag altogether. Uh, first off, you obviously need to make sure that your computer is set up for the system requirements of the game which you can find directly on SWTUR.com. It's actually underneath their FAQs. Uh, all you have to do is read through the requirements here. You, have, you, know, you have to have the processor of AMD Athlon 64 Dual Core 4000 Plus or better, an Intel Core 2 Duo 2.0 GHz or better, and then of course you have to have an operating system of Windows XP with Service Pack 3 or better. Uh, for RAM, if you have XP, you need 1.5 gigs, and then for Vista and Windows 7, you need 2 gigs. And remember, these are recommended, but they're only for minimum requirements. If you want to have a really good experience, I would definitely suggest having probably between 4 to 6 gigs of RAM at least. I personally have 8 in my computer. Um, Processor-wise, I don't have a great processor. I have an i3 Intel uh, with 2.1 gigahertz. It's not the best, but it still runs all right. Um, graphics cards, they do suggest if you have a built-in graphic chipset that you have at least 2 gigs of RAM dedicated for it. Uh, if not, if you have just a video card, then you need a minimum of 256 megabytes, and it has to support Shader 3.0 or better. They've given a few examples of this, uh, including the ATIX 1800 or better, or the NVIDIA 7800 or better, or an Intel 4100 integrated graphics or better. DVD-ROM drive, of course, has to be 8 XP, but that's pretty much standard on all the computers. So if you have all that, you're pretty much good to go. Obviously, you're not going to be wanting to play the game on the highest settings if you have just the minimum requirements. If you have just the minimum requirements, I would definitely suggest staying at the medium to low level settings so that we have the best experience, no uh, lag, no uh, FPS drops. Uh, but that's just basic stuff. Obviously, most people have this, and you're probably not having issues because of this. If you have everything listed here, it's because of the game, it's because of your uh, system setup or something like that. So we're going to go through a few different tips to help you reduce that lag. Uh, first thing I would suggest is using a program called Game Booster 3.0. This is a free program to download. All you have to go to is iobit.com forward slash gamebooster.html. It is a free program. Uh, it's a small download, just a few mega megabytes. It takes about two minutes to install. Uh, this program works very, very well. Uh, I, I noticed a significant increase in my FPS as soon as I started using this. Uh, what it does is it goes through and just changes a few settings in your Windows settings as far as the, uh, the way your desktop is done, uh, some of the background services that play in the, uh, while you uh, have applications loaded that aren't necessarily needed to be there. It will close those out. So you'll have all most of your memory dedicated to your game when you're playing. Uh, it, it lists a few key benefits here, including the one-click boost game, which is pretty easy. It's just a, it's literally just a button you click, and it automatically changes your settings, your normal settings, up to game performance settings, so that your game will run better. Uh, pure gaming environment, with game desktop tweaks for top PC performance, and it does actually kind of speed up your PC overall, not just for games. Uh, obviously, I can, it has the system requirements for this. So obviously, uh, you have to have Windows 8, Windows 7, Vista XP 2000, whatever. It runs on pretty much anything. It's a very, very small download. It works really well. So that's the first thing. Definitely suggest using that because it works great. Uh, secondly, uh, if you go down to your Start button, click Start, and then in your search bar right here, you're going to type in percent app data percent, hit Enter. This is going to bring up a few things. You don't want to mess with anything here. Just click on App Data, and then go to Local, and then you're going to scroll down until you find Star Wars: The Old Republic, which is actually going to be just the acronym that Swatter. Uh, here it is, right here. You click on Swatter again, then Settings, and now from here you can see the settings and file settings for the client of the actual game. This is something you can mess with a little bit, tweak a little bit to change up the graphics options, to tone down uh, texture qualities and stuff. This will drastically increase your performance, but please note that if you're not looking to drop the graphics value, this is not something that you need to do. Uh, this will turn down graphics quite a bit, but it does help speed up the game. So we're going to pull this up. It comes up in a notepad file. 
anything that says true next to it, you're going to want to put false. I've already done this on mine, so obviously it's a little bit different. Uh, Bloom definitely needs to be off. Um, let's see what else we got here. Width and height, you don't want to mess with too much. Plant density, this is usually, I think, uh, just like 2 to 5. I turn mine way down just because it, you don't want to have too many plants loading in the background as you're trying to run through environments and stuff. Yeah, it looks pretty, but it's not necessary to have. Uh, you don't want to mess with your free fresh rate. Texture quality, this is also something I turn down quite a bit. Uh, let's see here. Full screen, you go to false. Depth of field, false. Shadows, definitely false. Blob shadow, definitely false. There are uh, the tree distance and the light limit. There's some of these settings will not be in your client settings file, but you can add them to actually just have a few more options to turn down graphics, to turn down shading, and stuff like that. These are a few things that I added into it. Uh, I put it at 0.05 and 0.01. Uh, let's see, what else did I change? Far clip scale. This is an important thing to change to make your performance better. I put that down to 0.25. Anti-aliasing. This is a very big thing that really makes frame rates drop. I put it down to zero. Uh, lighting false, debug false, and then of course you don't mess with anything else below this. Once you're done changing all this, all you gotta do is go to File, Save As, and then you're gonna want to cl click on All Files, and then just click on Client Settings yet again, and then click Save. And then you're gonna hit Yes on when you do want it to really, do you want to replace it? And that's all you have to do for that. Um, other than that, really the only other thing you can try to do is when you're actually playing Sorter is to open up the settings, which is this little gear button you click up at the top right corner, and then turn all the graphics qualities and anti-aliasing to either off or very low. Um, those settings sometimes do change when you log out and log back in, and that's why I suggested doing the client settings from the configuration file, because this will actually make it to where it just stays this way. And that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, Game Booster 3 really does a lot for you. I actually found this to work probably the best out of everything. It really speeds everything up. It turns off all the ne unnecessary applications you have running in the background, so you have a lot more dedicated performance going straight to your game. Um, other than all this kind of stuff, there's really not much to it. I mean, if you're still having issues after this, it's probably something to do with your system. I know you don't want to admit it, but hey, it happens sometimes. Even I have graphics cards that I need to upgrade. I found that out when I started playing. I don't have very great rates. I didn't anyway until I started doing all this stuff. Um, I turned down the graphics a lot on the game simply because it's not really needed. I wanted to improve my game performance because when I went into PvP or even just running around in environments, I was getting a slight lag. So I turned all the graphic options down to the low as I could possibly go to. And now it runs perfectly fine. So yeah, if you don't mind losing the graphics end of the game, these are perfect tips to go by and just use to get a better gaming experience.